today we will be talking about the element neon. Element name, symbol, and history. The element name is neon, and the symbol is capital N, lowercase e, as shown right here. And its atomic mass is down there, and that is 20.17. Nine, seven. The atomic number is 10. Now for the history of neon, it was discovered by Sir William, the one on the left, and Morris Travers right here in 1998. And the way they found it was a process called liquid air. Now I really don't know, well, I don't know anything about liquid air. Atomic number, atomic mass, isotopes, number of energy levels, and valence electrons. The atomic number is 10. The atomic mass is 20.180 AMU. Isotopes is Ne20, Ne21, and Ne22. The number of valence electrons in neon are 8. Two energy level they have two energy levels and they're both full, so it's not reactive. As said. And here are some big words, so I'm gonna give you some definitions. The atomic mass is the SI unit used to measure the mass of a proton. The atomic number is the number of protons in a number. Isotopes are atoms that differ in the number of neutrons. Valence electrons are electrons in the outer energy level of an atom. Energy levels a number of electrons on the outside level. And you can see these are the energy levels, and it's complete, so it's not reactive. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. The number of protons in neon is 10. A proton, for you that don't know, is this little guy right inside neon. It has a positive charge. And neutrons is also 10. And what a neutron is, it's also inside of neon, and but but unlike protons, it has no charge at all. Electrons are ten as well. Um, and a, what an electron is are the electron are these purple things that surround the that surround neon, and they're housed on these things called energy levels, as explained in the last slide. Elements class and group. Um, it is in the noble class group, as you guys will know. It's the first we start with the alakai earth, and then alakai earth metals, and then we go over here. And these ones are actually named of what they are. So boron, carbon, carbon, <laughs> nitrogen, oxygen, and that would be the trans, and that would be the noble gas. So that's why you can see it. And like we said in the previous slides, it has eight full electrons, so there's no need for it to get another for it to make it reactive. And it's in group 18. You know that is, you go down, how you find groups, for those you don't know, it's going to be period 2 and period are the columns going down. So it's 1, 2, and you go to 18, which would be this circled little guy over here. So that's how you would find groups, for those of you who do not know that. Physical and chemical properties of neon. At room temperature, neon is just a gas. Neon's boiling point is negative 410.9 degrees Fahrenheit. And its melting point is at negative 415 degrees Fahrenheit. And the structure of neon looks like a bunch of cubes put together. So it's kind of not a very smooth element. It's really, uh, really and the density of it is 0 0.901 grams. Neon is not that harmless of an element. It does not cause any damage to the environment. This is for neon and what it reacts with. Neon is not reactive as we have said before. So it's good for many things. Um, one of those things is helium neon lights. As you see in concert, these make everything fun. We also have glow sticks, as you can see in the Coca-Cola picture, just makes it light up. It looks really cool. And, of course, the advertisement signs. We all need those. 
cool facts about neon and why it glows. Neon glows because after it's been put inside of a tube, it spreads out freely, making it glow. And the reason it glows is when, because they put electrons in it, and the electrons inside of it are released to a gas, making it glow. And it makes stuff glow like that sign down there. Neon is, you can find neon like everywhere, especially in Las Vegas. It's kind of what makes the city light up at nighttime.